There were times when days felt easier. The time when the biggest concern was, what special meal is mom going to feed me today? Back when simplicity wasn't a luxury, it was just life. There were no emails, no endless social media scrolling, no decisions that felt like they might alter the course of your life. I miss those moments, not because they were easier, but because they were lighter. Back when I didn't think about what's next, I just thought about now. And maybe that's the lesson. Maybe life was simple, not because it was perfect, but because we allowed it to be. Now it's all just memories. Memories of people, missed opportunities, and even memories of nothing. There's something about reminiscing that feels so heavy. Memories that feel so heavy yet smeared. And maybe that's the gift, to remember to hold those special pieces close and to know that they shape the person sitting here looking back. You have to be careful with living in the past though. It's addictive, just like soda. Soda addiction is such a small thing to see, yet such a powerful force to reckon with. It sneaks into your life one day, starting with one can, one bottle here, just a little treat you tell yourself. But before you know it, it's not a treat anymore. It's a need, a ritual. The hiss of the can opening becomes the soundtrack of your afternoons. You ask yourself, what about so that keeps you so hooked? The sugar or the caffeine? I mean, the sugar gives you the rush and the instant hit of energy. The caffeine keeps you sharp and awake and feels like something magical. And yet it's not magic. It's chemistry. It's marketing. It's a carefully crafted addiction. You know it's bad for you. You read the studies about what the sugar does to your body. But the pull is stronger than the guilt. It becomes part of your identity. People joke about it. Oh, you and your soda. But deep down, you're not laughing. You're craving. And sometimes you wonder, is it really about the soda? Or is it about something bigger? A need for comfort and escape or control in a life that feels so chaotic. But the truth is, these days it feels like everything is bad for you. Even bread. I mean, a simple, innocent staple, right? Or at least we all thought. I mean, it's just flour, maybe water, yeast. But something so basic sure has a lot of controversy. We've been eating it for thousands of years, breaking it at tables, offering it as a peace sign. Yet we're now told that somehow it's an enemy. Why? Because it's packed with carbs? Isn't carbs supposed to be fuel givers? Everything just feels so controversial these days. And let's not even get started with caffeine. And specifically the one in coffee. A simple bean roasted, ground and brewed into something that feels so tasty. Coffee, coffee, coffee. What about you hooks us so deeply? Is it the rich smell, the warm aroma that wakes us up after every sip? Or is it the promise you hold, the promise of alertness, clarity and productivity? But you're a liar too, aren't you? Because that clarity doesn't last, the energy is borrowed, not end. You lift us up just to let us fall again leaving us anxious and reaching for the next cup a cycle a loop a dependence so for once i believe them you are indeed bad but the paranoia that the studies bring when does it stop though the constant exhaustion that our daily grind brings and then we have to add paranoia of the things we eat it all started like a memory now it's a cycle that keeps us trapped the world doesn't stop either, so maybe the paranoia isn't meant to. You know, probably it's just a reminder that maybe we're living. I mean, dead people aren't paranoid, right? Maybe the real question is, how do you keep going anyways?